Now we're going to look at a chemical reaction mostly involving hydrogen gas reacting with oxygen to form water. Now water is lower energy than hydrogen or oxygen gas. And we want to look at what it takes to make that reaction go. So I have four balloons here filled with different gases. We'll move some aside. We'll start with our first gas. This is helium gas. We're going to use our flame to pop the balloon and start a chemical reaction going. So our first reaction is pretty simple. Helium gas is completely non-reactive, and so once it mixes and gets the flame, nothing happens. If instead of helium gas, we use hydrogen gas, now we begin to see a chemical reaction. So once again, we'll put the flame to our balloon, we'll pop it, allow the gas to mix with the air, and start our chemical reaction. Now the reaction proceeds somewhat slowly because it's limited by the mixing of the hydrogen with the air. This balloon has some oxygen gas already mixed into inside the balloon. So now when we pop it, it can immediately react rather than having to wait. So the reaction proceeds much more quickly. I'll put on hearing protection to make sure I'm okay. By adding oxygen, I significantly speed up the rate of reaction. We'll do one last balloon just for tests. This is a balloon containing pure oxygen gas. So we think we started with helium gas, no reaction. We added hydrogen gas, we had a nice flame. We added oxygen, the reaction proceeded much more quickly. So you can imagine what's going to happen once we look at pure oxygen. And the answer is nothing. While we have plenty of oxygen, we no longer have a fuel to burn, and so no reaction takes place.